everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Vayner Chuck, and this is The Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. And I'm gonna tell you, we have not done an episode like this. I'm sorry about the hat. I just flew into LA. Actually, here's the, uh, the Beverly Center, right across the uh, street. I'm staying at the Sofitel Hotel. Um, they give me a nice little, uh, nice little note when I came in that said, you know, Thank you for staying at the Sophie Town, Mr. Vaynerchuk, blah, blah, blah. Good stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm traveling, and I didn't get to tape a lot of episodes, but I thought, I can't be without the Vaniacs out there. So I had a great idea when I first checked in this uh, morning or afternoon now. Um, I asked them if there was any wine in the room. They said, yeah, there's one wine in the, uh, in the uh, snack bar. And so I thought today's episode will be a hotel wine. This could be a recurring theme with my flip cam because I am traveling a lot and I want to keep up and hang out with you guys. So what I'm going to do is I have no idea what the wine is. I've been waiting. I did get a little settled. I threw, threw my trash around here. Um, but I did not check what I assume, I guess it's going to be under the TV, what the wine is. So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what the wine is that they carry. Um... We go. All right. So together now. Let's see. Uh, there we go. And so, oh crap! I have no idea what I'm going to pay for this. Um, the wine that we're doing. Zoom in, Gary. No mop this time. What we're doing today is the 2006 Claude de Bois North Coast Chardonnay. I'm um, in a half bottle and a screw top. Let me uh, look for a. Uh, some wine glasses. Let's see if we can search together. Safe. Okay, we're gonna have to use um. We're gonna have to use a tumbler. We'll use this, I guess. Um, let me set it up right here. Hopefully this. Hopefully I can figure out the angle here. Hopefully I can figure it out. Anyway, um, so we've got the 06 Clos de Bois Chardonnay, 2006, a little bit older. Um, half bottle, probably on 07 in the stores right now. Um, let's give it a pour. So here we are. Let me just see how this looks. See if you guys are getting it. Yeah, there you are. Great golden color, not too bad. Um, let's give it a snippy sniff because that's what we do on the Thunder Show. Did I mention the hat? A little sick, sorry. So a little bit off on my palate, so that could be an issue as well. You know, getting classic buttery hints of Chardonnay. I think it's fascinating and it'll be very interesting to see as wine becomes a bigger part of culture. If some of these boutique hotels will start bringing in maybe small selections of half bottles. Because, you know, had I not been doing this show, I probably wouldn't have grabbed the Clos de Bois, more of a supermarket brand. Though Clos de Bois through the years has made quality wine. Um, but I'd love the ability to see like 12 or 14 wines in here in a little wine bar situation. So... As a matter of fact, any hotels out there, you want to team up with me, I'd be passionate about this. Go around to California and the rest of the world, create some half bottles, do some sort of like thunder rack. We could call it the thunder rack, I like that. Anyway, um, one more sniffy sniff. Um, clearly a buttered component coming through. A little apple core, not so much an apple or a golden apple, more like a green apple, but like the core inside when you get a little bit of the seeds. Let's give it a whirl. Bit. Um, and so let's see what's going on. Definitely one of the more unusual episodes of the Thunder Show. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, you know, good balance. Um, very hot on the back end, and it's cool. So if it was room temperature, this would definitely be hot. Um, there's um, a pear apple buttery kind of flavored thing going on here. Really not that exciting. Very basic Chardonnay-like. Um, almost like, you know, Woodbridge Chardonnay or Glen Ellen or Forest Glen in a Magnum kind of style. That basic, simplistic, thinned out um, Chardonnay flavor. Let me give it one more shot. Yeah, not much going on here. Um, solid stuff, not super incredible. Ooh, I have a shout out. Sorry about that. Not super incredible. Lacks, um, let me just go to my laptop. Lacks, um, you know, the things that I'm, sorry about this. Lacks the kind of fruit that I really, really love in Chardonnays and definitely doesn't have 
anywhere, sorry to look away, anywhere close to enough balance to really get me super excited. Let me just find myself here because I do have a shout out. I promised, so I want to come through on the shout out. And I'm sorry for this impromptu birthday shout out. Happy birthday to Brian Garcia with a Y. So, doesn't have the balance or the complexity that I'm used to in most Chardonnays and definitely very basic. I'm gonna score this wine 77 points. It is not one of the top hotel wines that we've come across, though we've only come across one. Question of the day, what is the greatest beverage and the story behind it? And this would be a great time lurkers to come out. I mean, the comments have been dwindling. I want it, I feel it, I need you. What is the greatest beverage and the story behind it that you've ever had out of a mini bar? You, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little hectic, but I want to be there. You, with a little bit of me, we are changing the wine world.